Hey y'all, Farmer Dre back at it. Today, I'm gonna explain to you guys how y'all could turn tomatoes into big profits. So we've been picking tomatoes for a while. These come, this uh, these bottom boxes here come out of this tunnel. They've been slowing down, but I think we picked right over about a thousand pounds. And then this this high tunnel here is coming on pretty strong now. We got a lot of these are the grow Carolina Golds in here. In this high tunnel, the weeds kind of took over. I didn't put enough plastic down, so we got three rows of red deuce and the row of Carolina Golds. And this one we got to finish her off, and then we'll see uh, how many pounds of picking total. So this is today's picking. There's 43 half bushel boxes here. The average about 30 pounds a box. So 43 times 30, that's 12, close to 1,300 pounds, right under, right under 1,300 pounds. So that's today's picking. One day we got two high tunnels. This smaller high tunnel we planted May 1st is produced probably more than half of those tomatoes. And this one planted March 1st. We already picked over 6,000 pounds out of here. We picked about another six seven hundred pounds out of this one and there's still a lot of green ones they're still firing so a lot of tomatoes everything's looking healthy we got a little bit of a white fly issue but the white flies don't really hurt the fruit so i'm not gonna really do nothing about it it's just the plants need to be nice and healthy so yep yep 1300 pounds this morning all righty so before i get to talking about how you can turn tomatoes into profit i want to show you guys a little bit of the history of our farm and how we got started to do in produce where we are originally an apple and peach orchard we have uh, about 20 acres of orchard and then we, my parents bought out the orchard six years ago in november 2013 and then in 2014 was our first season of doing the orchard and stuff and that's that's a story from another time we knew nothing about fruit trees and stuff and anyways tomatoes so we started doing farmers markets uh, spring of 2016 that was our first time ever doing a farmers market we started one on the one of the big bigger cities around here, uh, Springfield, and we start off with peaches and apples, and then slowly realizing that you know all the produce vendors would come to the markets would do, would go home with pretty much nothing every single Saturday. So then we started doing other farmers markets and started expanding. So we currently do about ten farmers markets a week, counting you know two pretty much two every day, and then on Saturdays. We do another two, but then we have a farm stand off of our main highway here, Highway 13. It is open six days a week. Then we have a farm store here on the orchard where people can come up here. We do a lot of U-Pick on the um, apples and peaches, so people come out to the farm. And in our first few years, we were buying in tomatoes from a local produce auction we have here from Yamish. And you know, selling a lot of tomatoes, we realized, you know, why can't why can't we do our own tomatoes? So then we at going to farmers markets, we talked to a lot of farmers who have these high tunnels and stuff. And talking to them, we found out that the NRCS gives out equipped high tunnel grants, trying to help out small farmers like us, you know, expand their season, you know, a month earlier in the spring and in the fall. So we got interested and signed up. So then in uh, fall of 2017, we put up our first high tunnel, this one right here. And then in 2018, I grew my first crop of tomatoes and I grew a row of cucumbers. And after growing them, we, we tried a few different varieties. And then all the tomatoes that I grew, I sold out within a few days after I picked them. So we're like, wow, the demand is there for tomatoes. You know, people like our tomatoes and, you know, talking on, you know, on selling them, social media really helped out, you know, us selling a lot of tomatoes. My brother, he's in charge of our social media and he does a lot of that for us. So then he started posting you know, all the time videos, you know, pictures of us having tomatoes and the, the other stuff we have on the farm. And people like to see the, start liking the process, you know, of seeing me planting the seed to, uh, you know, growing the plants and then finally harvesting. So. Our first season, 2018 of tomatoes, we literally sold out. I grew over 5,000 pounds out of this tunnel, and this is the only tunnel we had. And I sold out. So I was like, and then I was like, man, people like our tomatoes and want our products. So then, last this spring or this fall, the winter, we built the high greenhouse and the second one. So first of all, you know, to be profitable on tomatoes, you got to have the demand for it. You got to have, you got to know if, if your market actually desires you having tomatoes. So that's a little backstory how we got started to doing produce. 
and now we only grow tomatoes and we do a lot of fill the vegetables and stuff it's just first you got to find out if your market needs you and your tomatoes okay so i forgot to mention our our first season i grew uh six rows of tomatoes and we grew the determinant varieties and they all produced that one so we had tomatoes for about six to seven weeks and then that ended about the middle of august and then august through um through the to fall time we had no more tomatoes we had to start bringing them in and stuff so then we couldn't sell farmers markets and people wanted my product wanted my tomatoes and i told them hey look you know that i live and learn every time so now we do a lot of different succession plantings you know we started these high tunnel the first of march and then we did started that one the first of may then we started the planted all the field production the first of june and i actually just started a bunch more tomatoes and on these high tunnels from the nrcs we did get another one we got approved for another one so it's actually sitting on the pallet back there we got to set it up probably in the next few weeks so by the end of the season we'll have three high tunnels here and i'm you know just looking at the numbers and how much these tomatoes produce and how much money they make well, i'm just thinking about just buying one out of my own pocket and building one because it's worth the money you know and i'm going to get to talking how much you know these tomatoes produce and how much we make weekly off these tomatoes so so I just talked about a little bit about the demand and you got to find your market and second thing is pricing 100% pricing people always you know I talked to a lot of farmers they feel like in my opinion they're getting gypped off by the customers because customers are always complaining well you're too expensive well if you go to the grocery store you pay what a dollar fifty dollars seventy five for a pound of tomatoes that are picked green and shipped in from who knows where you know three four thousand miles you know and they taste like garbage and then they come to you and taste your product and they say you got the best tomatoes they ever tasted so pricing is very important we sell our number one tomatoes the number ones are nice perfect not a scratch not a bruise on them for uh, three dollars a pound and then we sell the seconds for two dollars a pound and the seconds are pretty good i mean it's just you know a little bug mark whatever scratch crack whatever so it's just pricing you know you gotta you got you gotta see what your market's selling them at we sell them at three dollars a pound early on like the month of um you know the end part of may when we start picking and through june we sell them at 350 a pound because you know we gotta you know, gotta pay all the wood you bring in and you know if you're heating with propane you gotta be able to pay it off because you're starting early early er, very early tomatoes so it's just pricing is key whenever you come when it comes down to the numbers and that's a lot of you know a lot of people don't realize but if you're selling for 250 a pound your number ones and you sell 100 pounds then i'm selling for three dollars a pound you just lost 50 dollars at 100 at 100 pounds so that's 50 more dollars that i made that you didn't make so if you're not selling your tomatoes at top you know uh, at top market price you're going to be losing money no matter what and there's always going to be the people saying you're always going to be complainers you know saying well your price is too expensive so let them go to your neighbor you know you don't need your that kind of customer base but you know whenever they taste your quality and the, and the flavor of your tomatoes then they'll probably come back and be customers for the rest of your life because you just have the best quality tomatoes in the farmer's market and then to have the best quality tomatoes you could possibly have it comes down to the variety in my opinion and you know some growing methods but mainly the variety and the varieties that we found that have the best flavor very easy to grow grower friendly are these red ones they're called red deuce and we get them from up in morgan county seed i know uh harris seeds carries them a lot of different um seeds seed suppliers carry them and we've tried them and they're they're our favorite variety grow so this is in the high tunnels that's the only variety of red tomatoes we grow and then we also grow a, ro a row with the uh, of the yellow tomatoes they're called carolina gold very easy to grow they put out a good nice nice size real good flavor tomato and they put out a good quality tomato real good flavor so that's why you could charge you know the the mark, top quality market price because you have a really good flavor rate uh, variety and most most people at farmers market they don't want to admit to it but they buy with their eyes you know you sell a product with their eyes whenever you have real shiny good looking tomatoes they'll rather buy buy from you than let's say someone that grows you know other varieties that don't look as good so now for the moment you guys all been waiting for is this is probably guys you why you guys clicked on this video is how we make five thousand dollars a week selling tomatoes and selling that tomatoes we sell about 1500 to 2000 pounds a week of tomatoes and that's spread out through different farmers markets farm stands we sell our, my um at like i said 10 different farmers markets not at all the farmers markets we sell tomatoes there's a few we don't but my brother val he has a produce stand out in south springfield he sells about 100 120 pounds of tomatoes a day and he's open six days a week we sell you know quite a bit here at farm store and our farm stand and then at farmers markets so we sell anywhere from 1500 to 2000 pounds a week of tomatoes that's nice number one tomatoes at three dollars a pound so that converts converts into you know five to six thousand dollars a week just on tomatoes itself and whenever you're growing them the profit margins are just huge you know it probably cost you 
I haven't done the math yet, but you know, 20 to 30 cents a pound to grow them, and then your profit margins are huge. And and as you guys just heard me talk, you know, it all comes down to see if your market actually wants your tomatoes, and you know, if you could be able to sell them and the way you grow them. So it's just that's how we grow tomatoes here on our farm, and that's about that's about roughly how how much money we make a week just off tomatoes. And tomatoes overall are they're they're a really good money maker. You know, if you're looking to you know make some summer you meet summer summer uh, have a summer job or do something in summertime tomatoes is the way to go Alrighty, so another thing i forgot to mention when you have a lot of tomatoes like we've been having we've been picking about four thousand pounds a week now for for the past three to four weeks now another big thing is storage if you're gonna have so many tomatoes you gotta be able to store them so we're storing the tomatoes in here they're at 58 degrees now and they're storing pretty good the tomato variety the red deuce if you put them in the right temperature at 60 degrees, they still have the amazing flavor, the amazing quality, and they store for about two weeks, and then they start getting mushy and soft, but like, just like other any other produce. So storage is very important when it comes to because you can't just all sell them on three to four days, and if you keep them like we used to keep them in the warehouse, and the warehouse, you know, in, we have big fans running, as you guys saw in my previous videos, it still gets really hot in there, you know, 89, 90 degrees, and outside we've been getting close, you know, 95, it's starting to feel like 100 degrees out here, but it hasn't hit 100, 100 degrees yet. So it's just, you gotta have somewhere to store the tomatoes here if you're gonna have so many. So we're thinking we have the little box trailer, and I just backed up uh, Val's uh, produce trailer next to the warehouse, I plugged it in. It's a 110, probably just gonna go ahead and show you guys that. So we could uh, start storing the tomatoes next to the warehouse instead of this big thing. So storage is also very important. So this is the uh, reefer box trailer my brother Val owns. When you bought that produce stand that came with it, 16 foot tra cargo trailer here. And we just backed up to the warehouse here. So we put our tomatoes. We actually gotta put all those in there whenever it cools off. So, and it's electrical power. So we just pulled it into this outlet out here, the receptacle, and it's just pull a wire there. And hopefully we'll have nice and stored tomatoes in here. So that's enough of me talking. Now we actually have to go in the field down there to, to actually stake our field tomatoes because the plants are getting big and we have we ran out of time it's been it's been raining at today's overcast so it's just you know a matter of, of getting it done and we do so many things here on the farm that you know and it's just me my brother and a few other uh farm hands we have here that we hire on that actually do, do the work so it just it takes a lot of time and then for us we got to do a lot of the farmers markets ourselves so you know like you guys probably saw my previous videos we only do about five to six hours a day work on actual work on the farm and the rest we're packing for farmers markets doing other things so now we got to head in the field and uh, state those tomatoes so you guys stay tuned and more tomatoes so we started staking the things now we got them just putting in every two plants here so i'm doing now is i'm coming through finding two plants in between them kind of separating these because they got all tangled up and stuff there we go Put this on this side then finding the drip tape, making a hole in the plastic like this, so I can get the drip tape. Then I get a post here, anyone, put it in there, get the post driver and beat it in. So we just got done staking this first row here, managing bit them in, and then uh, we tied up the string. And if you guys want to see how we did that, well, you guys have to subscribe to my channel because that's a vid different video for a different time. It's probably gonna be uh, tomorrow's video or next time I post a video is how to stake field tomatoes. I'm gonna show you guys the whole process how to do it. And I'm talking about how we fertilize our field tomatoes and all this other good stuff. So, but today I kind of explained to you guys how many tomatoes we could do selling. Um, in one week, kind of did all the good stuff, you know, all all the um, 
all the fancy numbers that's what people like to see is the numbers because to see if it's worth it or if not so tomatoes are definitely worth it for us this is why we still have five rows of these filled tomatoes here and you guys can see they're, they're starting to turn here so as if and if you guys saw my previous video i kind of gave my uh rural opinion about filled tomatoes i'm not too big of a fan of filled tomatoes but we went ahead and planted these because like i told you guys these are just extra plants we think we couldn't we didn't sell and we just went ahead and planted them on this black plastic so you know we gotta we we don't throw nothing away everything goes to um and we use everything around here so what we're planning on doing with these is doing um, a you pick tomato garden where people come out to our farm and pick tomatoes because there's there's just too many out here too many tomato plants and we do sell a lot but this high tunnels are still um producing you know i started like i told you guys i started another batch of tomatoes that are going to go in the in the new high tunnel we install so these 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 tomato varieties are all mixed in we got big beefs better boys all the other you know basic varieties we do sell and they're all indeterminate so hopefully by the time they frost in the um in the fall these will be you know these are about four and a half foot tall hopefully 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 by the time they frost the frost comes in the fall these will be you know about this tall and full of tomato so overall the, the trellis is looking pretty nice and we're seriously getting some stuff done we should have done this a long time ago but it's never too late so alrighty y'all i think that's gonna be pretty much it for today i kind of explained to you guys you know how what goes down here on a farm on the um, business side this is more of a farm channel i, I kind of show you guys the process of how i do stuff but knowing the numbers and stuff and you know kind of sharing that is good for people who want to get in this industry because you know we could use a lot more local farmers here on our area or anywhere you know local produce is always going to be hot it's always going to be top product to sell because it's fresh so that is going to be pretty much it for today if you guys haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button like this video if you guys have any questions comments leave them down in the comment section below don't forget to hit that little bell notification bell because i'm coming to you guys three days a week tuesdays thursdays and saturdays and we just i just get stuff done here on our farm you know we got the 20 acres of apples and peaches we got a that acre of blackberries we just planted we got to come through and trellis me and val are actually going to go in the shop and work on designing the trellis arm out of steel so it's just projects going on and on all the time. So you guys, if you guys are interested in that stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel. Join the journey here on the farm. And that's going to be pretty much it for today. I want to say thanks for watching up to this point. You guys have a good day. And we'll see you next time.